In this video, you're going to learn what you need to know about how to line up on the court. Once you understand the overlapping rules, it's going to be real easy to line up on the court. So after watching this video, you're going to be a lot more comfortable with your rotations and how you line up in Service Eve. So if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video on volleyball. So there are three important steps to understanding overlaps. The first thing you need to know is what player are you opposite on the court? The second thing you need to know is what player do you follow and what player follows you in the rotation? And the third thing is, is you need to know in which rotations is it illegal to overlap these players? So if you are in zone one, when you rotate, you're going to rotate to zone six. Each zone has a position. Zone one is right back. Zone two is right front. Zone three is middle front. Zone four is left front. Zone five is left back. And zone six is middle back. As I said earlier, when it comes to overlaps, what to focus on is the player you're opposite, the two players you're in between, and where the feet are in relation to the center line and sideline. Okay, so let's say you start right back. The two players you need to be concerned about are right front and middle back. In this rotation, the right back doesn't need to be concerned about the opposite player, left front. Now let's say you were right back and now you rotated the middle back. Now when you're middle back, you have three players to be concerned about. The two players in between, the left back and the right back, but then, then also the player you're opposite, middle front. So when you're left back now, you got left front and middle back to worry about. And then when you get the left front, it's the left back and middle front. Then when you get the middle front, it's left front, middle back, and right front. And then when you get the right front, it's middle front and right back. Okay, so when it comes to overlaps, it's where the feet are. So the feet of the right front player need to be closer to the center line than the feet of the right back player. This is how you need to be positioned on the court at the moment the ball is served. You can overlap before the serve and you can move anywhere you want after the ball is served. It's just at the moment the ball is contacted for serve. Okay, so in this example, number three is a setter and she's right back and number two is right front. And the job of the setter here is to stay back behind number two and as when the ball is served, the setter moves to the net to set. Okay, so there's an easy way to avoid being called out of rotation. Before each serve, quickly scan the court and recognize where your teammates are. In this example, the setter number three is opposite number 12. If the setter sees number 12 is lined up as left front, then the setter knows she is right back. However, if the setter believes that she is an opposite number 12, and she sees number 12 lined up at left front, then she knows there's a problem with the rotation. So this is how you can tell where you need to be on the court. Identify where your teammates are, then figure out where you need to be. Okay, so here is a typical lineup for a team. The setter is right back and they're playing opposite the uh, player that hits right side. They're also referred to as the opposite. And then you have the middles that are opposite each other and the outsides are opposite. The ultimate goal of serve receive is to put your team in a good position to attack. Now, if you haven't watched my videos on how to line up when running a 4-2, 5-1, or 6-2 offense, be sure to check out those videos. The link to watch them is in the description below and also in the cards in this video. Okay, so the goal of serve receive is to get a good attack. And the easiest ball to attack 
is a ball that comes from near the net. This is why you want the pass to go to the net in the setter position near the net. So in order to get a good attack, you need a good set from near the net. And to get this set, it starts with a good pass, a pass that sends the ball to the net. The easiest ball to attack is a ball that comes from near the net. This is why you want the setter near the net. Generally, it's easier to attack a ball that is set closer to the net. Therefore, the goal is to pass the ball to the net, then set to the net. With that said, it's important to mention all teams and players are different. One player may like a ball set tight to the net, while another player may want the ball further off. Okay, so here are some examples of serve receive. And I'm going to go over what you should do before each serve. This includes scanning the court and identifying where your teammates are positioned. Do this and you can help your team avoid overlaps. In this example, the setter number one is in right back position. The opposite player is number 15. Before the serve, the setter can see number 15 is left front and the libero is positioned middle back. This is all the information the setter needs to be confident the team is lined up correctly. So number eight is right front, and so the setter is right back, and she needs to start deep in the court to avoid overlapping. Okay, this is rotation two. Setter is middle back. She's pushing 15 to the net, and she has to stay in between number three, and number 21. And remember, it's at the, at the moment the ball is contacted for serve is when she needs to be in this position. So now we're in rotation three with the setter left back. Number five has replaced the Libro in left front. And 21 is middle back. So the two players that the setter needs to worry about are left front, number five, in middle back 21. So the setter pushes five to the net and the setter must make sure that she's closer to the sideline than 21. Okay, this is rotation four with the setter left front. The setter must stay closer to the sideline than number five until the ball is served. Okay, this is rotation five with the setter middle front. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe share it with a friend, and hit the like button, and then I'll know to create more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.